another application of simulation on statistical analysis is on regression model let us run a simple linear regression model from iris data let's say sepa length is the dependent variable and beta length is the independent variable we use the lm function to come up with the uh, coefficient the beta null and beta 1 lm lm is a linear function so let's say we put here right model Lm equal to sepal dot length and then versus the in the independent variable is the beta length and then data is from iris so the coefficient that we obtain here is beta null equal to 4.3066 and then the dependent vari the, the slope equal to 0.4089 let's say we want to simulate the data Let's say if I use only, let's say if I simulate for one data. To simulate the data, we need to simulate the beta length and then the error term. So how to do that? Okay, we get the summary of the mean of beta length and the standard deviation of the beta length ok so this one the mean and the standard deviation of the beta length, uh, beta length is equal to 3.758 and 1.765 respectively and then we also uh, determine the statistic for the residual so to get the residual ok we use this function actually this is come from here summary of the red model ok so this is the fully or uh, a detailed analysis of the regression model but if we want only the residual okay so we can put the dollar sign and the residual so this is the data of the residual okay so we get the analysis Oh, sorry, we get the mean and the standard deviation for the residual C mean of the this one you see we give name here residual Run. So we compute the mean of the receipt and the standard deviation of the residual. Okay. So this is the mean and the standard deviation. So it's a very small value of mean and the standard deviation okay. and then after that we simulate okay, the petal length so we put here petal sim 
Okay, let's say we use this set dot C of one one one. Okay, so petal seam come from the normal distribution mean equal to here. Let's say we want to actually the total data is 150 so we say 150 observation mean equal to 3.758 and then the standard division 1.765 okay run and then we run the residual Seed is equal to the we assume that the data come from the normal distributed 150 ok mean equal to 0 ok in this case if you, as you can see that the actually this is 0 0.0000 so it's a very small 0 Okay, and then with the standard deviation, this is actually 0 0.4057. So, I choose the four decimal point here. Okay, and then run. Okay, and then set passing. Okay, so as I pass him, I use the the same parameter here. Okay, here to obtain the as I pass him four point three zero six six plus zero point. So this is the slope zero point. 4089 ok, multiply by the petal seam and then plus the residual ok Resi 2 pun saya letak set resi set set 1 1 1 1 Peace Run Ok So I have petal seam The residual And the Sepal seam Ok So let's say I run uh, simulated data based on the simulated petal sim here. Okay, sim model is equal to the LM, which Y is the sepal sim, and the independent variable is the petal sim. Okay, run and then let's see what is the coefficient that we get. Okay, so I get here the beta null is equal to 3.4428 and then the slope is equal to 0 0.6388. Okay, which is quite close to the actual one. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is only first attempt of the simulated data. If you want to do a simulation, you need to simulate more than one. So, to do that, okay, we can run in a function. Okay, so let's say I put here set 111, okay, and then come up with the matrix, okay, sim 100. Matrix, okay, number of row 100, number of column equal to 2. So, we want to generate 100 
uh, set of data and then we run uh, the simple regression model and then you will get a set of a uh, 100 set of beta null and beta 1 respectively okay so that, that's why we put a two column here okay so from here okay we try to simulate the petalsim simulate the error and then come up with the sepalsim okay and then based on the result okay we try to get the coefficient okay so we just copy this one Okay, so seek one one one. So one hundred observation. Uh, sorry, one hundred set of data. Okay, each one hundred set of data consists of 150 observation ok so we want to come up with the coefficient values only ok so we run this one ok so actually this is the value of the sim 100 ok we will get the value of beta null and beta 1 respectively so there are 100 of them Okay, and then let's say we want to find the mean of beta null and beta one. We can use the apply or the uh, the apply function. So in this case, let's say I use the s apply. So the data is the same one hundred, and then I want to compute the mean. Okay. Oops, sorry. Oh, dia tak buat asyik asyik. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think, I think I better use the apply function here. The apply. I only want the second column. Eh, uh, sorry. I, I only want the uh, the mean for each column. Okay, so I will get on the average. Okay, the beta null is equal to four. The simulated uh, beta null is four point three one three, and then the beta one is equal to zero point four zero seven two two. Okay, the original one, this one. Okay. Uh, this is the coefficient value and then uh, sorry this is the beta null this is the beta 1 then as you can see that the actual and the simulated okay, are close so therefore the assumptions pertaining to the distribution of the error terms are satisfied Okay, you can also let's say if you want to simulate for 1000, so you can change here into 1000. Okay, and then let's see what happened. Okay, so as you can see that the simulated value, okay, become closer to the actual one as we increase the number of uh, observe uh, the number of data in a simulation okay so that's all for today